The Royal Air Force Crash Rescue Firefighting Service are specialists in saving life. One of the first things you learn is that survival time inside a burning aircraft is limited. From the moment of impact, we've got three minutes. There you are then, three minutes. Might take longer to get the fire out, but the main thing is you've got three minutes to get the survivors out or they won't make it. You learn how to do this in nine weeks basic training. Learn how to work as a silent team. And your actions have got to be automatic. So you have to know your drills. From recruit to fireman in nine weeks, then you can go on to train as a driver as well. And every trade test you take, improves your pay and chances of promotion. It's up to you. You can be driving anything from a Land Rover so this six-wheel drive job, cross-country. Because if a plane comes down, it's like to be off the airport and damn difficult to get at. Right, as you can see, the flatness of the airfield over there is quite easy for you to see anywhere in that position. But here, we do have a different problem. We've got all the hills and all the woods, right? And another problem, as you can see on your map, down there, we have a river, which is up here and runs up behind you. Now, if you come over here with me now, right, turn over now to your audience survey map, because this is what you require this side, because you're going off the airfield boundary now. As you can see, you can pick up your airfield, you can pick up the river, which is running along the back here. So you've got to be good at map reading too. And this is all part of your basic course at Catterick in Yorkshire. Tactical Land Rovers, dual purpose and primary foam trucks. Light water, foam, CO2, dry powder. Hand tools like bolt croppers, cable cutters, pneumatic saws and chisels, hoses, nozzles, ladders, pumps and breathing apparatus. The best and biggest range of firefighting and crash rescue equipment in the world. Hold on Edwards, I hear you've passed the top of the course. We've got a cup for this. The drill you do at Catterick helps you to react quickly to orders. When you get on the crash line, you'll be mainly concerned with fire drills. Especially if you're posted to a station like Bryce Norton, where you'll be on a 24-hour shift system. This is Strike Command, one of the busiest airfields in the country, and you've got to squeeze in continuation training as best you can. We'll carry on now with the 
position four of the uh, setting of the instrument. I'd like you to notice on the bottom of the instrument panel here, you've got a four position switch. Yes, Tom. PC 10 2014 inbound from Akateri is an error mode with two stretches and a total POV of 89. Roger, Tom. Please, before you carry on any more of your settings. All right, off you go then. Planes land or take off from here every few minutes, round the clock, carrying thousands of passengers on what is reckoned to be the safest airline in the world. And we've mounted up and rolled out here to play our part in maintaining that reputation. This BC-10 has medical cases on board, Aeromed. And if anything happens after touchdown, then the pilot and the nurses, and come to that, the patients themselves are happier to know that we're right on their tail and ready. We haven't lost a patient yet. To be honest, although you're on watch, in between whiles you've got cleaning and maintenance and a bit of time to gen up on your trade test. I was on the same course at Catrick, only I was posted to Withering. Like the first lad said, you soon settle down to continuation training. You're a competent fireman when you finish basic, but there's a hell of a lot more to being an expert. Okay, gentlemen, we've got this far. We've got the canopy open. Uh, we can imagine that the pilot is lying here unconscious. Our next job, the most important job, is to make the seat safe. To do this, we need our ejection seat spins. We either carry on the vehicle or the one stored in the aircraft in this position. Okay, the first and most important pin goes here in the main sear. Okay, secondly, a pin into the lap firing position. Uh, third pin, down below that in the rocket pack and a fourth pin in this position here in the guillotine seat. But now the seat is safe. Uh, this is a Harrier squadron and what a lovely wee thing is a Harrier. There's no another aircraft like it in the world. And you know something, the Harrier can take off and land like a helicopter and still fly faster than sound. The Harrier can be made operational from somebody's backyard or vegetable patch and wherever it goes, we go. We have to be able, at a minute's notice, to get a full firefighting unit to support a Harrier operating site anywhere in the UK or overseas. You've hardly time to pack your gear or tell the wife or the girlfriend, or maybe both, that tonight you'll be bedding down with a Harrier. Anyway, if you wanted a routine job with regular hours, you'd no be listening to me telling you a bit about life in the Royal Air Force Fire Service. A jock will always tell you he's got the best job of the lot. Well, I came from Catterick to Fairford, and our speciality here is the Concorde.
Right, lads, this afternoon we're going to have a short lecture on bird control on air drums. Now, being gentlemen of the world, I'm sure you've all from time to time fancied yourselves as being capable controllers of birds. However, this afternoon, unfortunately, we are compelled to discuss the feather kind. Birds are beautiful creatures, all put here for a purpose, but we'll have to get rid of them or to try and scare them away from our ground. Concord's worth millions. And like with all jet aircraft, the last thing you want is a flock of birds in the engine intake. So we've got some crafty gear that you can use to clear an airfield of birds. First you've got to recognise the type of bird, and then play a tape of distress calls. In their own language, of course. If our feathered friends are too daft, or maybe deaf, then you've got to fall back on the old 12-bore explosive cartridge and scare the hell out of them that way. Either way, the air feels safe, and they live to fly away to warmer parts come winter. Lucky sods. Talking of luck and migrating to warmer places, but sights where the sun always shines, the beer's cool, and the local shish kebabs make your hair curl. A nice three-year tour here, accompanied if you're married, will never do anyone any harm. You get more leave than most in Civvy Street, and the work's pretty interesting too. Local coach. Go ahead, approach. I'll be with Hercules 7295, covering with hydraulic trouble. Estimate landing in five minutes. Air priority two. Oh, Roger, air priority two. This is an air priority two. Hercules 7295, recover. Hydraulic failure. In course one, scramble. Air Force gets to be the safest flying outfit in the world, partly by taking no chances. Any suspicion of malfunction and we stand by. And a fireman with a backpack on a helicopter can be in action within seconds. They call us Sparks, but Sparks is the last thing we want to see for the sake of all the crews and passengers. And don't forget, we're often passengers ourselves, flying out to places like Gan in the Indian Ocean. Gan is a coral island on the equator, and there's nothing else on it but the airfield. Staging posts on the way to and from the Far East. Like me, you'll be angling for one of the coolest jobs on the island, manning the fire section Sea Rescue Zodiac. Sleepy lagoon, a tropical moon, like the song says. But you'll not be twanging your guitar here. You'll have to do without women for your nine months tour. Anyway, time soon passes, and there's plenty to keep you occupied. Uh, Mike Bravo, uh, suspect break fire for me, will you? Mike Bravo, uh, Roger, will you hold? Bravo, uh, Joe, will hold. Crash one, Gantau, the Nimrod has a suspect at port break fire. You're clear onto the runway. <laughs> The 24-hour watch is divided up into 12 hours on and 12 off. So you and your mates work together as a team, trying to outdo the other crews in the speed and efficiency with which you tackle every task. Like an Nimrod brake check, for instance. Crash one, you're right. 
It's an active, varied and responsible job. Travelling abroad, smashing grub, lots of leave, a rate of pay as good as you get anywhere, and plenty of friends in the same boat as yourself. If you'd like to join us in the Royal Air Force Fire Service, whether for three years or a whole career, there's good promotional prospects and you can climb as high as you want to. Well, think about it. Be seeing you.